Uh, hi, I'm Garrett with Mobile Bay Harley Davidson, uh, service manager. Um, wanted to talk to you guys briefly about this bike. Um, this bike is, actually belongs to a disabled vet um, that while working on his bike had a stroke um, and he's been unable to get it fixed for quite some time. So it literally sat in front of his place rusting, uh, rusting away essentially. Um, another concerned neighbor brought it to our attention. So we immediately jumped at the chance to actually give back to a vet. Uh, a lot of these, a lot of these guys deserve um, to have things or deserve to actually get some help from time to time because they've given so much. And a lot of times they've given, you know, pieces of their body, even some mental issues. So to give, be able to give back to this gentleman, just the, the minuscule way we can, which is, you know, getting the bike up to snuff so he can ride it and have something, um, you know, to do on the weekends and stuff is, is you know, means a lot to me and, and our staff here at Mobile Bay. Um, we support the vets 100%. So, and we also appreciate everything that they do for us and have done for us. So um, that's what we're doing. So basically what we're doing to this thing is um, we had to rebuild the primary for him. Um, we're putting a new belt on, which he, he already started. Um, tires, um, wiring, just getting it safe. Um, so that way he has something to enjoy for a little bit longer. So so this started out with him trying to change his tires or something like that? Yeah, so... so uh, a guy, he was, he's talented enough to actually do his own tire change. Um, did both front and rear, um, got it all put back together, but in, in haste, I think that he over tightened the, the rear belt. The belt broke while he was riding it. It actually had to be stored at a fire department, a local fire department for a little bit until he could get it back home. Um, once he got it back home, uh, he started taking it apart to put a new belt on. And in the midst of that, he had a stroke. And so that's why there's so much downtime and, uh, now we get it and get to put it back for them. So besides those things, you guys are kind of going over the whole bike too, right? Yeah, there's a lot of safety concerns that we see here. We don't like to let any bike go out, whether it's a customer who's paying for a service or somebody we're helping, um, the bike has to go out of here safe. So there's a little bit of safety concerns that we're doing. We buttoned up some wiring that uh, was subpar and, and not working correctly in the back. So that way all of his lights work. Um, we'll probably do a full service on it as well. Um, and just overall rework the bike so it's safe. So his his neighbor Casey is a biker too and saw this going on and saw it was a disabled veteran and brought it to your guys' attention and then what happened then? Um, basically after Casey told me what he needed, I jumped at the chance to help a, help a vet and said, get that bike up here. We need to get it up and running for him, so. So you guys are doing all the labor for free. And, labor for um, free. Um, we're taking donations for any additional parts. There's not much. Um, which Casey's working that all that out as well. So um, we're trying to make this a community effort to get the, the bike back to it.